Julia, what we're looking at for today, conditions are about as concerning as what we saw outside yesterday. One factor is actually worse, and that's humidity. Getting down to around 3 to 15 percent for your Thursday afternoon. It's going to be dangerously dry outside today. Humidity starting out very low this morning. We're going to show you those figures in a second. Winds out of the north sustained up to 30 miles an hour. Could see gusts today upwards of 40 miles an hour again. And we are seeing high temperatures slightly warmer than yesterday, but the high temperatures aren't really problematic. 77 to 81 degrees expected for the valley. Fire danger all around today, staying in the extreme range, so please continue to use extra caution as you go about your business. You don't want to be using machinery out in brush or in your yard for today. Hold off on that if you can. And getting a look at what we are seeing, the red flag warning has now been extended until 9 p.m. tonight in the valley through 10 a.m. tomorrow in portions of the foothills and Sierra. Gusty winds out of the northeast could be possible again late tonight through tomorrow. That's why that's been extended through 10 a.m. Friday for the valley. It looks like winds are going to start to slack a little bit heading into this afternoon and become weaker tonight and through tomorrow. So that's why that's allowed to expire a little bit earlier than what we're seeing off in those foothill areas. The wind advisory, it was set to expire at noon. Now that's been extended through 6 p.m. tonight. Gust today could top 40 miles an hour again. That's through 6 p.m. this evening. Please be aware that you could be looking at tree branches into roadways again today or power lines. That's going to be an issue for us. Be careful on the roads. Grab those Halloween decorations and bring them indoors if you haven't. You may be seeing those flying around this afternoon if you don't. Getting a look at the winds right now. 24 mile an hour sustained wind out of the northeast for Redding. That's the strongest that we're clocking right now as far as the valley goes. Gusts overnight since midnight. 36 miles an hour out of the northeast in Redding. 29 miles an hour over the last hour in Willow. So we are still seeing some gusty conditions in the valley this morning. Jarbo Gap reporting a gust of 46 miles an hour early on today. So winds are continuing to be a big factor in your fire danger on this Thursday. Satellite and radar showing clear skies ahead for the start of your morning. We do have a little bit of a change of pace on the way. High pressure is building in. That's going to help us out a little bit starting late tonight through tomorrow. As that builds in, that really takes hold of the west coast. We see those pressure gradients start to slack a little bit. Temperatures staying warm, conditions staying dry across our region. High pressure then just dominates the west coast. Heading into your weekend, that's going to result in those cooler temperatures or these cooler overnight temperatures as the air mass is very dry and we still see light winds on the way for your weekend forecast. So that's a very good change of pace that we have on the way. We are expecting to stay dry though through your weekend. Any chance for showers staying to our north Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures this afternoon, high 70s to low 80s if you're in the valley, high 60s to low 70s in the foothills, 50s to 60s in most mountain areas later today. And ahead in your storm tracker 7 day forecast where your weekend is always in view. 79 degrees for today in Chico with sunny skies. 80 degrees on Friday lows falling in the low to mid 40s over the next several mornings. High 70s expected through your weekend. We'll be in the high 70s to low 80s through the middle of next week. Redding 79 degrees with sunshine today and gusty north winds. Tomorrow winds not as strong. That's great news for fire danger. Temperatures climbing into the low 80s. Overnight lows this weekend in the low 40s. So it's going to get brisk overnight. Be prepared for that and have a jacket handy for the mornings. High 70s for Saturday and Sunday afternoon. Then high 70s to low 80s expected from the early to middle part of next week's forecast. So Julia all around after the winds diminish late tonight and through early tomorrow. Conditions looking fairly mild for your forecast over the next seven days.